Hello everybody, I'm here with a new commentary, and this is a new view that I have regarding the Flash series. Now with the newest episode, Flash vs. Zoom, we discovered that Jake Garrick is indeed Zoom. But I think it goes a bit more deeper than that. Like how in the first se season, sorry, uh, what happened was Chris Zoom or Professor Zoom or Verse Flash, whatever name you want to use for him, he was really Earbud Thong or was supposed to be Harrison Wells. And I thought maybe that would be a recurring theme. What if Zoom really is just Hunter Zone? That's it. And he's posing to be Jay Garrick. Now, I have a few theories behind that, and that's this guy. The man in the Mal Mask. And my theory is the man in the Mal Mask is the real Jay Garrick. The one who's been trapped. Now, my theory is Hunter Zombie kept Jay Garrick alive to learn about it. To learn what he his life was, to learn what he did, to learn like who he is, how to act like him. And if you recall, in Escape from Earth 2, when they mention Jay Garrick, he gets sad. He's panicking, he's frightened, and I think that's because he knows Hunter Zolomon is posing to be him. And while he's trapped in there, he knows that Zoom is masquerading and being both the Flash and Zoom. Now, why do I think that? And I think that's because he changed Jay Garrick's character. He turned him from the Golden Age superhero into a villain would be too big, I feel. I feel it wouldn't fit. Now, if you look of Hunter Zolomon. You'll find he really is Zoom. That's who the character is. And as you can see, the series tends to go off of comic books. It tends to not stray off too far. So I feel they would just change Jay Garrick into a villain just suddenly. And then it would be the question, who is the man Mel Mask if it isn't Jay Garrick? The amount of characters that could be is very limited. Well, this is just my theory. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Thank you all and have a great day.